Hello and welcome to my video on Joomla access levels um, and user levels. Now this is something I wish I had a couple of days ago because yesterday I spent um, roughly nine or ten hours working this out. Because even though I knew about it, I didn't really fully understand what it can and can't do and how to set it up properly. So what I've done is I've set up a test site to um, to, to use all these access levels. So first of all, if you don't understand some of the basics, I'm not. I'm, I guess I might run through it, but um, what I've done here is is I've set up first of all articles. Oh, actually, let's take that back. Now each one of these tabs here we have. Um, the Joomla users, and then we have the user groups, and then we have the viewing access levels. So first of all, I've made up the users, uh, and each one of these users, so I've split the site into three different main levels, which is a very common thing, which is bronze, silver, and gold um, levels. So of course, um, bronze, uh, silver having more access than bronze, and gold having more access than silver and bronze. Um, so the next thing then I did is added on two modules. So these are modules that may be sold separately um, within the website. So they're neither gold or silver users or bronze users. So I've made up all of these different user groups here. I've also got a plugin that I put into here called Login as User that makes life really easy when you're testing stuff like this. So really all I have to do if I want to um, log in as a super user, I just click on it and it takes me to the front end of the website and, um, and then I see all the um, access levels there. So that makes life a lot easier. So I can probably get rid of that home page for now and we'll just have a look at these. So that's the first thing I've done is made up these um, users. And now the next thing, then of course, I made up the user groups. So I made up um, gold, no, I made up, well, naturally everything. So gold, silver, bronze, module one and module two. Uh, now, I've, I've, there's two ways of doing this, uh, but for this particular way, this is the second way I've tried, but it's going to be the first way on this video, um, which is basically leaving everything flat. So I've made bronze, gold, module one, module two and silver. I've made them all directly under registered okay so you have to be registered to see um, to sort of um, get access to these levels anyway so rather than putting it um, at the base level like these ones here so all of these ones here when we go into it bronze level they all have um, the parent group as being registered so the next thing we do is go to the viewing access levels so the viewing access levels uh, now this here Generally, what you'll do is you'll just set it up as bronze. It's just having um, access to the bronze. Now, this is the part that got me for a little bit because I was always looking back to front and saying, well, if you log in as a manager, then you have access to all gold content. If you log in as a super user, you have access to all gold content. If you log in as a gold user, you have access to all gold content. So as you can see, what's happened here is we've got bronze, gold, um, and so on. So now, because in this case, um, gold is higher than silver, and then silver is higher than bronze, that means I want all my users that log in as a gold um, access to also be able to see bronze and silver. So then what I do with that is I go to silver and I say, well, if I log in as gold, because gold is higher than silver in this case, well, then I get to see silver as well. But if I log in as gold over here, I also get to see gold naturally. Now, of course, bronze is below that. So if I log in as gold, I also get to see bronze. So, and it just works its way up. So we have silver, if I log in as silver, then you get to see silver. Um, but of course, if I log in as silver, you can see here that it's not really, gold doesn't have silver in it. Okay, so then that means that if I log in, there's no silver so I can see gold access. Now, if I log in as silver, then I also get to see bronze access. Okay, so that sort of explains um, the levels of this. Now, what I can do, is um, you can also go to the user groups. Now what I could do is then make um, registered and then the lowest level would be bronze. So I can go to bronze and I can make that what it is, a direct um, child of registered. 
Now, the next thing I can do then is go, well, silver is above the bronze. So, of course, I'm going to make silver access on top of the bronze. And then gold is above silver. So what I'll do here is I'll go and make uh, silver. So now by doing it this way, this is another way of, of doing exactly the same thing. So if I log in as a registered user, I can't see bronze level access. Okay, but if I log in as a bronze user, then I can see bronze level access and also anything set to registered level access. Okay, if I log in as um, silver, then I can see silver, gold, registered. It really just works up the ladder like that. So that's another way of doing it. Um, also the same as using access levels here. Um, there is benefits to doing it one way to the other. And um, <laughs> this, the, uh, and I, I think that um, I sort of, I work out some theories or not some theories, but I work out some ways to do it, um, why this way is better and some ways why the other one is better. But um, to, to be honest, um, they're, they're, what I find they're minute and um, I haven't really wrapped my brain around the best way to do it um, for the reason of your purpose. So it's all got to do with the end result of your purpose. What is your purpose for doing these levels? See, some people, I don't know why, but gold and silver and bronze might not be related in any single way. Okay, so they might have entirely different content. So you don't want the people in gold to access anything in bronze, so then you're going to set it up differently. Okay, so um, if I do it uh, this other way, so let's go through now and we'll go gold. What I'll do is I'll just use the hierarchy version of it. So in other words... Um, we're using the user group levels, so now if I go to silver and then I'll just get rid of um, gold and all I'm going to do then is give the access levels um, to what they actually are. So we go bronze, silver and so on. Okay, so now this is really um, saying that um, any manager and super user can see any access level um, and then we've got um, we've got module one can see module one, module two, and so on. So let's go, um, I've got, actually I've got a mix in there, but I, I, that's, um, I'm not actually talking about that just yet. So let's go back to our users. I'll just pop the users over here. So now by rights, remember I've made up all of these articles. So let's go through, um, I can't remember if I showed these articles. Oh yes, of course I did. Okay, so each one of these articles here has its access level set to it. Okay, so, and they're all titled, so it's all common sense. So let's have a look back to the users. And first of all, I'm going to log in as um, I actually don't have a normal registered level. But so let's, um, if I log in as a registered user, you'll just see something that's registered. So that's pretty common sense. So let's go at the first level, which is our bronze user. So if I log in as a bronze user, then we go to the home page. And then I can see that we have a registered article. Oh. Why then? What have I done? What have I missed? Hang on a sec. Bronze hierarchy from here, 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 here. There, there, there. Access levels. Okay, bronze. Ah, there. Silly, silly person. Some of you people probably saw me click on that and go, oh, he did that wrong. Okay, there you go. Back to it. Let's refresh that page. And now I should see the registered article that any, say, non-paid person, if, if you're doing subscription, any non-paid person would see, um, all they have to do, this could be free access material. Okay, and then you have the bronze access material underneath, underneath it. And pretty much from here, whatever I go into now, if I go into silver, then we will see that I now have access to the registered bronze and silver. And the reason why I have access to the bronze is because back here in our user groups, Bronze is above, I mean, silver is above bronze. So if I log in as a silver user, I'm seeing anything that is below that. Keep that in mind. Okay, so, and then of course, if I do the same thing for my gold user, like so. And now we can see I have access to registered bronze, silver, and gold articles. Now, I also made these ones up here as module one and module two. So what I have, um, let's keep this here. So viewing access levels. So let's say now that um, 
you're a module one subscriber and module one subscriber also gets access to all bronze material well i could use the um, access level and then i could put module one um, also above here so i could put it bronze and and make module one and make bronze the um, parent category so that would then would allow me if i log in as module one to see also bronze and all registered i could do it that way but we also have over here then on the viewing access levels this means that um, if i go to bronze and i want all module one users to also see the bronze level okay so now if i go to the front and i'm logged in as a gold which i don't want i want to log in as a well let's log in as a module one user now by rights i should be able to see registered articles and module one articles here now i'm also seeing um, module one as i set up before um, i'm logging in as a module one user and I'm seeing bronze so module one user over here where we are bronze so here we go module one so I've logged in as a module one user which means I can see the bronze level access also since I've logged in as a module one user I can see all module one user content okay so that's the way that works there now if I log in as a bronze level uh, bronze level user now remember bronze level does not have access to module one so you won't see a bronze level won't see module one content Whew, luckily i thought it was going to show up but it didn't okay so that's really it in a nutshell um now this is to a certain level because i'm actually working on a website now where um, it's using DocMan and DocMan is using different papers that have access to a few different levels but um, let's say module one there's only um, you don't want module one to see all of the bronze level access and things like that so what um, DocMan does is it actually allows you to have viewing access by user groups and not just the viewing access level so viewing access level is sort of a bit of a, a, a preset if you could think of it that way um, preset of all the user groups but um, sometimes it just doesn't quite cut it and DocMan really covers that where you can um, set up the access level by user groups and not only the viewing access level okay so I hope that helped and um, please ask questions and please please correct me um, in the comments below because uh, I still I want to know <laughs> I want to know everything there is about this um, what I consider a complex system um, other people might consider it quite easy if that's the case then you're not watching this video um, so I hope it helped goodbye for now